Hey all, Alan here from Damn Good Reviews. So I just went through a pretty big upgrade for my PC. It's been a bunch of years now, um, and I just saw a lot of programs really just not running good. So uh, upgraded to uh, Intel 6700K, a lot of memory, uh, really good um, gigabyte board. So now I'm ready to rock out and test out a lot of these really cool programs. So um, I'm a you know, have a really big background in video production, video editing, um, have done a lot of work with uh, a multitude of different editing products. I mean, everything from linear to, of course, nonlinear now. Um, and, you know, I do have my favorites for products, but always opening uh, the doors for new video editor platforms and like to compare them to some of the professional level um, platforms that I've used for many years. So this right here is Movie Edit Pro Plus from the brand Magix. That's with an X. And, um, you know, a lot of their programs have been really, really good. And uh, so I've been checking this out for a few weeks now and really enjoying it. And relatively easy to use straightforward um, they have a lot of tutorials on their YouTube channel and as well as their website and then they also have a lot of download packs and things like that but let me just go ahead and show you um, just real quick um, you know they have everything from the easy edit mode that you can do here um, depending on how you like to edit or you can do timelines um, there's also multi-camera which is pretty cool so I'm actually not gonna do that right now but I'm going to just close that. So that's another really awesome option that they have for you. One really cool thing that I like about this is uh, I have an LG 360 camera. And editing some of the videos and photos has been not very easy in a lot of programs. But now Magic's uh, Movie Edit Pro Plus lets me do that. So you'll see here, um, this is just a 2D shot. But what I can do actually is go right into it. And then we have the 360 view, and I can actually see the 360 right here. Oh, there I am. I'm going to grab that by mistake. So there I am, and we can go ahead and we can play it back. But not only can I play it back, but now I can actually do things to this video and then export it again, which is really cool. So if I wanted to go ahead and add a title, um, you know, I can, I can pretty much do that. So there you go. Just select the object. So let's do damn good reviews so we got it right there and then of course we can resize it if we want I mean again if you've used the video editor in the past I have found most of the program really really straightforward and easy to use um, you know a lot of the same ideas of course across most NLEs or nonlinear editors you know in and out points play buttons things like that um, just some of the way uh, the things work as far as cut points like here the title is actually below the video channel where I'm used to it being above the video channel so just some things like that but if you're really looking to get into a video editing platform or program and you know just looking at a place to start I think this is really good and tons and tons of features I mean especially for the price it's relatively inexpensive um, let me just go ahead and show you this so there you go so that's the 2D mode right there. Let's switch over to 360, and then you're gonna see, you should see it. Uh, I gotta actually you have to enable it for 360. So what I can do here is go ahead, drag that, and then. So we'll see. So, you know, it has to be the right size to do it because obviously it's a spherical uh, image. But this is really cool, especially if you're doing some type of shots that you want to brand yourself. So I can play stuff and then I can actually have it branded for whatever. So that's a really cool feature, the 360 feature. Um, again, tons of templates, things you can download. They have a lot of pre, they show all your fonts in here. You can do intros and outros, you know, however you want to do it. You can just double click and play them. I mean, tons and tons of stuff. I mean, this is really, really great. And, you know, keep in mind, you know, of course, if you see a lot of these uh, fades and effects, you don't have to use every single one of them. It's okay uh, to do things like that when you're editing video. You don't need all that in your in your holiday video. You can just use simple crossfades, but the options are there, like the pool cue and things like that, you know, crazy stuff. Um, you can develop your own. Then we have 3D templates as well. We want to see something here. Let's let that load up. 
again, really, really cool stuff, easy to use, and then we have uh, time codes, so if you want to do any work and you need to stamp the time on it, you can do that. Grab that right here, so maybe you want to do a movie look that's, uh, I don't know, bleached out. Oop, that was on the wrong channel, that's okay. So we want to bleach it out, I don't know, something crazy like that, but tons of different effects. We have all of our video effects from brightness, contrast, we can do masking, cookie cutting, um, you know, glow effects. I mean, look at all this stuff that you get in here. You also have shot matching, which sometimes if you're doing multiple, uh, you know, video clips, matching the shots is really could be a pain and you know if i saw a couple preview or a couple samples that they did where it was a shot uh, i believe of a city where it was panning and then it cut to a longer shot but then it it matched the motion of that other shot really really easily so all that stuff it's these are great tools to have you can do stereo 3d which youtube also supports um, I mean, there's so many features here. I, I use just a lot of them to edit. Um, we had an old vacation video, so let me edit that with it. Worked really well. So let's continue and move on here. Let me show you some of the other options that are actually in this program, which are really, really cool. So also, if we just highlight the clip here, right click, we have a whole other menu that pops up. We have things like snap markers. Um, we can do object trimming. So if we really want to get precise and trim, um, we can do start fade outs, fade ins, things like that. Really, really cool little feature there. Um, and then we also have some other thing, things like scene recognition. And also we can do, um, you know, automated movement and zoom in, things like that. Let me just see if we can do that real quick. So let's see if we'll... If I go pan left to right... It's not, so it's not picking it up here. Uh, it might be because it's actually the 360 video, but I've done it on some of the other videos, and it's actually pretty cool. You just drop it right in, and, and it actually animates it by it by itself. So it's just really a quick way to do things like that. And then um, you know we have some of the sections that we can jump to. So if we want to zoom, uh, you know, zoom into the different sections, we can do that. Um, there you go. So just showing you these different options. Another really cool thing we have here, we can insert a still image at the playback marker. So wherever the playback marker is, we can do that. Um, we can work with interlaced uh, footage. You know, if it's not looking right, um, you can always uh, use that to uh, either, you know, inter work with interlaced or anti-interlaced, so de-interlaced, I guess. Uh, border cropping, background design. I mean, there's tons of things. We can load additional effects, copy objects. Um, and then there's a really cool one here, which I used, um, I did a version of like the mannequin challenge and it was shot on a phone. We couldn't get the stabilizer, the actual handheld stabilizer to work. So I was able to use this and I just used the magic image stabilizer and, um, you know, pretty much what it does, it zooms in on the footage and then stabilizes based on that. And you can set your smoothing options and a bunch of different options to really see, um, you know, how much of the image you kind of want to, I guess, lose because, you know, how the stabilization works, which is across the board for most NLEs and uh, effects editor systems. But um, it worked really well. I mean, the final product looked awesome and it rendered out pretty quick. So just jumping over here, a couple last things we see. We see some of the same options here as well. And we have some um, more cutting options, your fast, uh, your shortcuts like TZ, U, remove scene, split movie. We have the musical adjustment editor is actually not going to open that. We showed you the, um, uh, the, the audio editor. Let me just do that. So here's the actual mixer that we would see if you want to do some mastering and set your different levels. Pretty cool. So also here we have, um, obviously you can group objects, on group objects, and then we have wizards. So we, we can do like a slideshow maker. Uh, which is kind of, it could be automated to make these animated slideshows, soundtrack maker. So i uh, show you that. And then you can set, you know, all your stuff, automatically create the music, select background music effects. Pretty, pretty cool to have this. A lot of times these programs are all separate, but everything's really built in into this one uh, program and making it awesome, really, really awesome to use. And then this other wizard, so if you're doing home movies and stuff and you kind of want to show like where you've been and you know where your video has been shot and just show your travel, we got the travel route animator. 
And now for some reason I'm getting a, a script error here, which I haven't been, but that looks like it's a script error through uh, where it pulls it from. So what I'm gonna do here is actually I'm gonna type in the city. And then, so we have that, and then you can go ahead and you can see actual travel map and it will animate it by itself. And then you can save it and bring it right back into your project. So um, you can also select, you know, what sizes you wanna, wanna save it as it says 1280 by 720 based on the project that we're working with. You have different options that you could still encode additional things to it. So it's still, it's a really, really cool feature um you know to have especially for like those home movies and things like that so i think that pretty much covers everything um multi-cam won't open up obviously because we just don't have two two videos loaded but actually if i go ahead and i load something just pretty quick i guess i'm not gonna say don't adjust but hey there, there's me from a lot of years ago I don't look like that anymore anyway so um if I go back to this and go to multicam, so we can see which camera. And then traditionally, when you're playing, what happens is as you play, you can select what camera, and then it makes the cuts as you go. So overall, um, that's a pretty good overview of everything. Uh, a couple other last-minute things. We have our export movie options, tons of features, and export formats that we have from their own format to MPEG-4, MP3. Um, we can record additional audio, import an audio track so you can rip it right here, um, you know, because that's from a CD audio track. We can everything, burn CDs, put it up online, backup copies, and, and much more, even additional settings to change keyboards, shortcuts. So ultimately, for the price that they're charging for this, I mean, it's really an amazing program. I'm Honestly, I'm blown away by it, about the power and how easy it was to use um, editing the projects that I worked on. And uh, uh, we'll definitely keep this loaded and then continue to use it. Um, I definitely recommend checking it out. If you can get a you know discount on it, go for it. Check out the demo. Um, there's a few different uh, versions that they have of Movie Edit Pro. There's Movie Edit Pro Plus, which we're doing here. But you know, check it out on the Magic site. Uh, I really enjoyed doing this uh, demo and review. And um, you know, let me know what you think after uh, demoing this this program out. So, thanks again for watching. I'm Alan from Damn Good Reviews. Make sure to like and subscribe right here on YouTube, and we'll see you soon.